Hi everyone, welcome to Tech Tutorials 2K21. So in this video, I will show you how to handle events in Java programming language. So here I am uh, work with buttons. So now we are uh, using buttons and how to change the background color of applet by clicking on this buttons. So that is a program of this. So now for that we have to import three packages. So that is import java.applet. So which is gives you an implementation for your applet and the import java.awt which allows you to take the components of uh, this uh, awt like your buttons, tick boxes, label and everything. And then we have uh, one more package like java.awt.event.star which is used to handle the events. Okay, so now this is my class name background color right which extended from applet. Right. So because uh, whenever we want to handle events, we have to extend your user defined class from the applet class and then we are trying to implement your so interface. Right. This action listener is an interface here. So now I just extended from my applet class and I am implementing action listener. So this is an interface that related to button. Right. Action listener is one of the interface for the button so here this button is my class so remember button is class and these are the objects so just we are naming the objects b color 1 b color 2 b color 3 and b color 4 so now later we have to create objects by using new keyword okay so this is my label so for that label also i'm, I'm creating one object that is called b color and I'm taking one string and this is an object for uh, string class. This is str. So for applets, we have two methods. One is init method and another one is a paint method. So in init method, whenever your applet is created, whatever the things you want to do, like uh, at the time of creating your applet, you want to uh, give some message or you want to uh, <coughs> display some components on that. Whatever you want to do, you have to write everything in init method only. So here in this program, what I did is, so I just uh, uh, give a label, I mean, uh, give a description for my label and then I'm uh, creating objects for my buttons and I'll give a naming to my buttons and later I just registered, I mean, I just add all these buttons to my applet and then registered all my buttons with a event handling right so here b color is nothing but an object of label right it's an object of label so new label of so now you're creating object b color to label and we are assigning the description to the label like select any of the following button to change the background color so this is a label i'm given for my label class and then now this is my b color one is nothing but the object one which i'm created for in my class button so i'm creating an object b color one equals to new button off so now i want to give red so i want to display red on my first button so because of that i'm given red here for second button i i want to display pink for third button i'll give it as yellow and for fourth button i'll give it as orange so as of now so the objects of buttons are created and the naming for the button is assigned and after that i just add all these buttons to my applet window right for my applet window i just want to add all these buttons so for that i'm using add of so i can pass the objects here which components you are trying to add so you just give that objects uh, like this so add is a method which takes a object so add b color of one will add the first button add b color of two will add the second and so on add b color of four will add the fourth button and after that before we handle the events with any components of awt we have to register that components first so for that i need to register right so this interface see here we have an interface action listener is right so now we have to add this action listener to all the 
buttons. So because we are providing an action through the buttons only. When you click on button, you have to provide some action. So for that, so B color uh, one is an object which you created for the first button. So now we have to add this action listener. So add action listener is a method which is going to register this action listener to your button. So now B color dot add action listener of this. So this is refer to a current right the current listener it always take the current action so like that you have to give this so for all buttons you have to add your action listeners by taking all these statements like b color 2 dot add action listener of this and so on b color 4 dot add action listener of this and after that now it's time to uh, implementation of your event because after you register of your event you have to implement like you have to provide the functionality, right? So for that, I'm taking a method action performed, right? So this action performed is a method which is coming from an interface action listener, right? So, and this action listener is coming from means uh, this action performed method is going to be implemented by taking a class action event. So now this action event is a class right so which is having this action performed method so now this is an object for action event so what you are simply doing we have to take the string is available on your button so for that you have to take get action command so what your get action command will do is it will uh, take the content of your button so what is on button that uh, text it will be taken so that text you are given to your string so now the string variable is taken that uh, button content into that particular variable. So now this is a repaint method. So we are calling this paint method uh, uh, again. So this is a paint method where we have to implement the, the functional part. Like whatever the things you are going to display or whatever the things you want to change on your applet window. That everything you are going to implement on this paint method only. So now in this paint method, it always takes graphics as a class with an object. So you can create any object for your graphics class. Here I'm creating G as an object for my class graphics. So now here what I'm trying to do, what, which button I'm going to click depends on the background color of my applet window is going to change. Suppose if I'm clicking a red button, my applet window is, I mean, uh, is filled with red color. So here I'm taking four colors, red, pink, yellow and orange colors, right? So now what we have to do, we have to check which button is going to click by the user. So for that simply you are taking if string dot str is nothing but the value of button it will take in, right? So now that equals to red, right? See, remember, so this values is must be follow like this so because your java is case sensitive language so you have to take the labels properly otherwise it doesn't make as an equal string so now if your string is matched with red simply what you are trying to do you have to set the background right you have to set your background of applet window with the color red so remember color is a class so from this class you are taking the different colors so color dot red so now this red color is taken and it will set the background color. Okay. And uh, we have four buttons here. Okay. So uh, here I'm implementing uh, if else ladder. So now I'm checking the second button by using this else if. So string dot equals to str dot equals to pink. So now I'm going to set my background with pink color. If it is yellow, I'm going to set my background with yellow color. So if it is uh, orange, I'm going to set my background color with orange. So this is of the program explanation. So now I'll show you how to execute this particular program, right? So for this, I just copy uh, this applet code and I'll take a new, I just paste it here. So I just save this with .html extension. So I just save it as background color okay so i can take like background so 
so you can give proper name dot html okay background dot html so i just save so i just close this window and this window also i just closed so now i open my command prompt <clears throat> so from this command prompt you have to set your environment first so i had all my files on desktop so from that i have java projects so i set the path here projects so now i'm taken my java compiler and here i'm given background underscore color dot java so now my compilation is successfully completed so i'm using this applet viewer okay so here i'm i need to take my html file and that is also i said with uh, background colors dot html background oh sorry so applet viewer background color dot html so now you can see the output so this is my applet window right so i had three four uh, buttons name with red pink yellow and orange so uh, on which button i'm i just clicked on so depends on that my background color is changed see i just click on yellow my background color is changed with yellow color so i just click on red it is changed with red pink orange okay thank you